Victoria, I'll come to you on one of the stocks Bob mentioned there, Microsoft. Uh, new highs almost every day this week, as, as Bob mentioned. What do you make of that? Is it one to take profits uh, in or, or continue to back its consistency? You know, Wilfred, we actually have taken profits in Microsoft. It's still a name we hold in our portfolio. We like this name. We like these um, larger tech names and we hold them. But it makes sense to go ahead and trim a little bit and then re um, put that money into some of the more cyclical or value names in order to really balance out the portfolio. We've had an overweight to growth stocks. So taking a little bit off the table, either keeping it in, in cash so you have some dry powder when there are market pullbacks, that's one option. Or we've bought names like Target, we've bought names like Ford, and even healthcare names. You saw Bob talking about healthcare usually doing well in August. We bought Anthem. So I think trimming is a good option instead of just selling these names outright from your portfolio. Anik, Anik where are you on, on big cap tech? They've, they've proven to be defensive. They're not really reopening. They do well when it's stay at home. I mean, they're, they're sort of secular growth, and they act like bonds in many ways. So what, what do you do with those stocks now? Well, you're exactly right. Big cap tech is in many ways the, uh, the, the long duration equivalent uh, of the bond market in the equity space. Um, you know, what we say is that, you know, not all tech is the same. Um, you know, you have to be with the higher end of the value chain with tech because most of tech doesn't have a great deal of pricing power. So you have to be very selective where you are. What we have seen and, and, and what we will continue to see, we believe, is tremendous investment in digital technologies. And whether it's industrial IoT, uh, whether it is consumer IoT, but generally speaking, you know, connectivity is going to be uh, edge computing. A lot of this, you know, completely revolutionary uh, changes will mean a lot of investment in data centers, in um, in the high end, uh, fast computing uh, capabilities within data centers. And many of the stocks that you mentioned are actually some of the biggest proponents of those uh, of, of those benefits, of those trends that we see, those mega trends. And um, and so yes, we think that uh, this is uh, very much a long visibility, long term secular um, opportunity. And um, you're absolutely right. You need to be uh, quite focused on how much we pay for that opportunity, the TAM. The total addressable market for these companies seem to be increasing uh, quite substantially as well. But to be very disciplined on pricing uh, is also very important, particularly in such a liquidity-driven market as we are in today.